spring tutorial. I'm starting with the Restore Facial Serum and this is by Legina Labs. Um, it's very affordable. It's only $5.99 at Marshalls and I'm really liking it. I also use this as skincare at night and in the morning. I like to apply it before my makeup because it really preps my skin really well. This is the Alba Botanics Fast Fix for a Pimple and I'm using this on my breakout. As you can see it's tan. Um, it is supposed to um, diminish the redness and blur the pimple. I think it kind of does that but not super crazy well. Now I'm using the Becca for Slight Priming Filter and just blending that all over my face with a Sonia Kashuk brush. I like this because it's very glowy and it'll give you that lip from within look. So now I am going to use the Urban Decay Lip Love Recovery and it is like a coconut and shea I think and it's like a lip balm and it's really hydrating on the lips and I love to use this before I apply any liquid lipstick. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Fair Claire. I like this concealer because it's not too matte and it's still very healthy looking. It's a lot like the NARS Radiant and Creamy Concealer is what I've heard. Now I'm taking the Burberry Fresh Glow Concealer, hence glowy look. This is in the shade Ochre and I'm going to be using a brush from Japanesque. It's a BB and CC cream brush to apply all over the face. I'm using this foundation because it gives a really glowy and healthy look. Again, glowy spring makeup tutorial. But it also gives a lot of coverage, which I really like. It's a great foundation, highly recommend. Now I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer again in the shade Fair Claire 110 and I'm going to be putting that under my eyes, in my smile lines, um, on my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and on my chin to brighten the center of my face. Again, I really like this concealer because it's very healthy looking and not too drying, especially if you're trying to achieve a glowy look. And I'm taking a beauty, modern beauty brush to blend that out. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Better Skin Super Stay or Super Stay Better Skin Powder in 20 Classic Ivory and just using that to set the face. This is a really good dupe for the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. It mattifies just enough but retains that luminous look, which is again why I chose it for this tutorial. Now I'm taking the e.l.f. Natural Face Palette and using the bronzer shade just to bronze my cheeks and my forehead. Now I'm taking the Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette and I'm taking the light gold shade and applying that on the high points of my cheeks and on the high point of my forehead as well as the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow, but I'll be using my finger for the cupid's bow. Now I'm taking the Mario Badescu Green Tea and Owl Facial Spray to make sure all those powders just kind of meld together and I'm taking a palette just to fan that down before I start my next one. Now I'm taking the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette in Not A Base of Peach and I'm taking that tan, light tan transition shade and applying that all over the lid to set the eyes. Now I'm taking the orangey transition shade and putting that in the crease. So I'm just taking a bigger fluffy brush just to make it a little more seamless and I'm doing the same thing on the other eye and again I'll be taking that big fluffy brush to blend it just a little bit more and make it look a little more um, seamless. I'm going to use the same word again. So now I'm going to be taking that bright pink right there, a salmon color if you will, and using that to deepen the outer corner of my eyes. I'm using the same brush that I used to um, 
put that orangey color in the crease and again I'm going to be taking that same big fluffy brush when I'm done applying that color to blend it out and make it more seamless and look more blended. Now I'm taking the um, where am I putting it? Oh, the light tan shimmery shade and putting that all over the lip. And now I'm taking that burgundy shimmery color. It's kind of a duochrome color, and I'm putting that in between my lid color and my outer corner color just to make it look a little more cohesive. I love this palette. It's very pigmented, very beautiful. Now I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild um, Retractable Pencil in Taupe, and this pencil is so good guys. It's really creamy, very buildable, which is nice so you don't mess up your brows as easily. Um, great pencil overall. I'm really enjoying it. It's the perfect match for my brows, and yeah, it's probably my new favorite brow pencil to be honest. The questions and answers to love, life, and cancer. I can't go much longer. I wish I was stronger to hold back my teeth. So, next, I'm taking the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, and that's in the color Blonde. And I'm going to be just putting that over the brows um, to kind of set the powder down. As you can see, I don't really create my own shape, I just kind of outline the natural shape of my brows. So now I'm taking the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara, and I'm going to be applying that on the top and bottom lashes. I love this mascara because it's very voluminizing and lengthening, as you can tell by the brush. It's going to be a voluminizing one. It is a very wet formula, so if you're not a fan of wet formulas, I would recommend something else. But I love wet formula mascaras. That's just how I am. <laughs> but yeah, this is one of my favorite mascaras. Um, it is high-end. I got it during the 21 Days of Beauty last year, so I don't think I'll be repurchasing. This is the Mana Kabar um, Beauty liquid lipstick. I got a set of these from Ross. It was like a set of like 10, I think, for six bucks. It was so great. I'm not sure of the shade of this. I totally forgot, but it's a really pinky, almost nude shade, and I love it. So now I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray and setting down all my makeup. And then I'm just going to be taking a palette to fan it down to dry it. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Gorilla.